what do you think is the main is is it a is it the cost savings or is it uh, lead times? Do you think is the main driver for for new customers, or is it pretty much is it split? Well, a lot of times it's actually lead time. Yeah, yeah. Like um, when we rebuild a pump, we, we actually end up with a lot more hours in that pump. Than, yeah, well, than, that's than the thing because you are engineering things. Well, yeah, yeah and and like to take something apart and clean everything up and make it make it pretty and nice again. That's time consuming, okay? Yeah. So like when they build that thing new in the factory, they don't have to take it apart and they don't have to clean things up. It yeah. already is, right? Yeah. And, and they put it through their CNC machines and the and like it's it's fast and efficient and, and they end up with not very many hours in it actually mm -hmm. in the final assembly. Yeah, there are a lot of hours go into it before that. But so when we take and and there's like we find that small pumps it's not worth it anymore like you, right. you, you don't you don't try and you don't try and rebuild a pump that you can buy new for ten thousand dollars it's mm -hmm. it's not worth it right but you know a pump that's worth a quarter million new yeah we can save them some money we mm -hmm. and and we do but the the real big attraction is if you if you got an oil field coming on and you and you're going to be producing oil in two months mm -hmm. and you're waiting a year for a pump to pump the stuff. Well, in that 10 months of time, you can pay for that pump many, many times over. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the, then the, the issue is to get it there and get it there on time. And, uh, or, you know, I mean, you, you go into mining too. I mean, you, you, your, your mine is flooding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't want to wait a month, a, a year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Is that what, well that I know you do a, a lot primarily in the energy sector but you do move into mining yeah. um, as well is that is that where you get a lot of the mining work is where that I guess the dewatering yeah. and projects like that is where your company would really come in right Yeah mine dewatering is is good for us yeah and but I mean there's boiler feed pumps in mm -hmm. in food plants in petrochemical plants um there's uh uh, just high pressure, um, high pressure process pumps in uh, refineries and this and that. Um, it, they just everywhere. Yeah. And I mean, I talk about high pressure because that's a little bit of a specialty. But we 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 have many many pumps for all kinds of processes and yeah. So refineries, mining, uh, food processing. Uh, all kinds of process industries. Steel mills. Right. Steel mills have been good for us. They, yeah. oh, they, they have a. They use uh, these high pressure pumps for descaling. You get you get this you get this mass of of uh, red hot steel coming through, and it mm -hmm. goes through a roller, and then there's scale on top of it. So they blast. They shoot high pressure water at it. Oh. And uh, we rebuilt a pump for a guy in Serbia, uh, an outfit in Serbia that. Their pump was down, and it was it, it had a major, major crash, and they needed one in a hurry, so they sent it over to us, and we rebuilt it. Oh, they it actually back. sent that pump to you for yeah. you to refurbish? Yeah. Yeah. Well, what kind of lead time would that be? To that was about, I think that one was about, uh, it was likely 15 weeks or so. That's pretty quick. Still yeah. Up, yeah. yeah. That's with, with shipping and everything? It was. I think so, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, ah, the shipping probably added something to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, what was it going to... Uh, oh, that, there was something I... Uh, w it's a personal favorite topic of mine, is the uh, <laughs> the rebuilt, refurbished debate. Oh, sure. <laughs> that <laughs> happened. <laughs> yes, <laughs> thank you for asking this question. <laughs> In the used industry. Um, yeah. It's... And it... it uh, I, I mean, I've seen it get fairly heated before. <laughs> yeah. Um, because there is a different view. Well, what, what is considered rebuilt? What's considered refurbished? What's considered reconditioned? Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. We've had that what, discussion. What's your take on this? <laughs> We've had that discussion, and, and one guy thinks that refurbished is a higher grade than rebuilt, and the next guy thinks exactly the opposite. <laughs> so I, I, I don't know as I actually have answers. Yeah. I, I do know that, like, I mean... Uh, the industry is a bit, how might one say, a bit tarnished, maybe, but by by, you know, 
paint job overhauls, mm-hmm. you know, the Sherwin Williams overhaul. Uh, <laughs> uh, we use Sherwin Williams; it's good stuff. But, uh, <laughs> but you gotta you gotta go a little further than that, right? Yeah. And so, um, so I don't know the right word to use because it, the words mean different things to different people. But the the bottom line is, if it's done right, you get right down to the to the the if it's done right. Really, the only difference between new and rebuilt is that you started out with molecules that were already solid instead of liquid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in your steel. Right. Uh, you didn't start with molten steel. You started with something that, that, that's there, and but it, that was already I- in a shape. But, um, but, I mean, at the same time, there are situations where you know, where some of our stuff, you can't get it to that place. Well, then you don't right. try and sell it as a as a zero hour rebuild you you because uh, we we kind of like to use a standard what would what would i want if i was the customer right and now i know i'm i know what's inside this thing and would i be happy if i was the customer knowing what's inside there 